Hello, friends. It's Dr. Michelle Bankson. I wanted to bring you another hope-filled perspective. It's a beautiful day here. You might even be able to hear the birds singing. I always love it when they do that. They remind me of my mother, who's dancing with Jesus in heaven. But I wanted to bring you a hope-filled perspective about the fact that sometimes we just need to turn the page. Let me explain. This week has been one of those weeks, we've all had them, it's been one of those weeks where it just seemed like everything hit. The pain was worse, the debilitating symptoms were worse, things weren't going right. Little things would happen that normally just be able to laugh at or you know brush off but those little things seem like bigger things this week and yesterday I was literally crying to the Lord and said Lord I I can't take one more thing I'm weary I, I'm at my breaking point I can't I need you to step in I can't handle anything else and I don't know if you saw my post yesterday or not but yesterday after that prayer and after I think I cried all the tears that I had the house flooded our new to us house that we just moved into it flooded and as we spent hours sopping up all the water using every last towel I had uh, the tears just flowed. I was like, Lord, this was my last straw moment. I can't do it. I need you. And I don't know if you've ever had those times where you just hit your last straw moment. And it's like you can't take anymore. I was exhausted last night, just exhausted physically and emotionally and spiritually. I was just exhausted. But I got up this morning. It's a new day. The sun came up again. And yes, it's a pain to deal with a flooded house and calling plumbers and whatnot. But it's just stuff. It's just stuff. And the Lord reminded me of the verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 that says, For our light affliction, which is for the moment, worketh for us more and more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. And so those Little things that seem like such big things yesterday, even the house flooding. It's a light momentary affliction. It's just for the moment. And what I needed to do was just turn the page. It's a new day. I've got new strength for the day. God's mercies are new every morning. I don't have to borrow them from tomorrow. I don't have to eke out every last bit of mercy and grace from yesterday. They're new for me today. And I've got a better mindset again. I know where these battles are coming from. I'm able to get back on my knees and fight them on my knees. So I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if you too are dealing with your last straw moment. But I would encourage you to try to look at each of these scenarios that Satan bombards us with trying to get us to give up. And in all transparency, that's how I felt yesterday. I just felt so tired and I hurt so bad. I just wanted to give up. I just wanted Jesus to come back. But I woke up. So it means God still has purpose for me today. I don't know if I'll wake up tomorrow or the next day, or if I'll have 50 more years. But as long as we wake up, God still has a purpose for us here. 
and these things that we go through, yeah, they can seem like big deals. Last night, the flooding in the house seemed like a really big deal. But we'll get through it. It's just stuff. It's time to turn the page and look for what God's doing in the midst. It reminds me of the scripture that says, what the enemy intended for evil, God will use for good for the working of his people. I don't know how he's going to use this scenario. Maybe it was just to remind me that he's faithful. Just as the sun is faithful to come up every morning, maybe it was just a reminder that, yeah, Michelle, it stinks, but I'm still on my throne. I'm still here. So whatever you're going through today, can I encourage you? Just press into him. Turn the page. Remember that whatever you're going through is a light affliction, which is just for the moment in the grand scheme of eternity. I have a friend who likes to ask why. Why do you think that happened? Where do you think that came from? Why, 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 why? And I don't care about the why. <laughs> I don't because knowing why doesn't make me feel better. Knowing the cause of the flooding does not make me feel any better about that fact that it did flood. But I know who. I know who will get me through. And he will carry me through this and he will use this as a reminder of my life of when things seemed so bad that he was still here. The sun came up the next morning. His mercies renewed the next morning. So... Your hope-filled perspective today is that whatever you're going through, I would just encourage you to turn the page and look for what he is doing in the midst of what you're going through. Maybe it's for you to set an example for someone else. And I never really like it when people tell me that, but sometimes I think that's why we do go things. Other times, it's just a fluke. Other times, it's a satanic attack. Because the enemy is trying to keep us from fulfilling the calling that God has put on our life. But in the grand scheme, tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe it won't be until a month from now, but this won't even matter anymore. And there will be something else to deal with around the corner. That's just life. And it's not God. I don't believe it was God trying to show me, oh, you can handle one more thing. I don't believe that. Sometimes things just happen. But even when things just happen, our perspective and how we handle it is our choice. I'm embarrassed to tell you I didn't handle it real well yesterday. I was a mess. But today I'm like, okay, let's do what we have to do. Let's keep our focus on Jesus. Let's keep spreading his love to a world that needs it. And let's remember where our hope comes from. The hope that is an anchor for our soul. So that this has been Dr. Michelle Bankson. I hope that today's hope-filled perspective gives you some encouragement for whatever you're going through today. And if you know someone who needs a dose of hope, can share, consider sharing this video. That's why I come on, is to encourage others. So until next time, may you have a hope-filled day.